There's like no communication going on here. They just like shoot us out, like go there, go there. So I'm hoping there's a bus waiting for us on the other side. So we were woken up by the craziest thunderstorm today. Today is another travel day, we're heading for Cambodia. But first of all, we have a scooter that needs to get to the pier. And we have a minivan that's gonna pick us up here. I'm gonna head off, drive the scooter over to the pier, and then you're just gonna come with the minivan and all of the luggage. Grey weather, really rainy. There it is. This is me. Thank you. Thank you. So we got everything sorted with the scooter. Got back my passport. Super happy about this. Yeah, we made it to the Cambodian border. I slept through a little bit of it at least. So the minivan driver obviously can't cross with us, so they just like shipped us out, say go there. But cross the border, get your visa. Cross the border, do everything, and then I'm not sure what happens. I mean, I'm assuming we have transport from there, but there's like no communication going on here. Just like shoot us out, like go there, go there. So I'm hoping there's a bus waiting for us on the other side. So here's the border, guys. Cambodian border. Yay! Okay, crossing the Thailand Cambodian border now by foot. This is uh, a lot more stressful than by plane. <laughs> At least you can say this. It's uh, it's way more stressful, especially when no one tells you what to do. So we received our first Cambodian note. It's thousand something. Actually, a little unsure what they use here in Cambodia. What kind of currency? Do you know? Now they went to Switch, have to get the visa and we're just gonna pay and I'm gonna take care of our stuff. They just took me to like a staff only room where they sat a few people, they stamped, paid, it's 1500 baht per person, it's about 40 euros, a little less. Yeah, but I think it's about right. Yeah. I says a bus station about 15 minutes away and there's a bus leaving in about 14 minutes. So we pay the taxi now to try to catch that. And if not, we have to wait two and a half hours more for the next bus. So that was generally just like a really, really stressful experience. There was no communication going, most of it in just languages we don't understand. They just like rushed us through the whole thing. We had to, I mean, everyone asked us for money, we didn't know who to pay. We actually managed to get on the bus or a bus. We actually don't know if it's going to the right place, but we hope so. It looks like it's only like 10, 20 minutes left. So we arrived in the extremely busy city of Phnom Penh. I still have no clue how to pronounce that name. Do you know how to pronounce it? I have no clue how to pronounce it. Nah, no, I thought it was Phnom Phnem for a long time. But I think it's Phnom Penh. Anyway, we didn't do actually any kind of planning or research before we came here. So we have, yeah, we have basically no internet. On our phones, we don't know where our hostel is, we don't know where we are. So we just went to a shop and asked if we can borrow the Wi-Fi to look up where our hostel is. And unbelievably enough, it's actually 12 minutes away only to walk, so... Yeah, yeah. We're Amazing. so lucky. I was like, in a hole of Phnom Penh. Phnom Penh. Phnom Penh. And it's only 12 minutes. That's quite amazing. We finally arrived and we get a free update, guys. We have actually two huge beds and the room is huge and we have an air condition and we have like a huge desk, finally a huge desk for Fritjof. Fridge, coffee, water. I guess we're happy. Yeah. Thumbs up for this room and they were so kind to give us an upgrade. Yeah, free upgrade. Only because I think it was sold out the one overbooked or something, the one we had. Mm. Not because we get free shit anyway. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. The journey continues tomorrow. Oh, now I said like you. Yeah. <laughs> the journey continues tomorrow.